Alright, good day and welcome back to another exciting Turdferg channel video. Today's lesson is brought to you by Halls, maker of these triple soothing action cough drops. Yum! That's right, I have a cold, so please do not make fun of my pitiful stopped up nose on this video. This is Unit 6.3, a continuation of it. This is what's known as a ballistic pendulum problem. A ballistic pendulum is an example of an inelastic collision. We've got a block, and what's happened, let's kind of ignore this. But there's a bullet, and it's been fired at this block of wood, and this block of wood is a pendulum. It's attached by strings or rope or something. And what's going to happen is this bullet's going to hit the block of wood. The block of wood's going to catch the bullet. And when it does, the block of wood is then going to swing up into the air. Most of these problems all are relatively almost the same. Uh, usually they will give you either how high this block swings. If it wants to be a particular pain in the butt, this problem can give you the angle up here and the length of the rope and make you go back and figure out the height that it swings. But usually it's going to either give you the height and then ask you how fast this bullet is traveling. And I'm going to call that V1 initial. Or it's going to actually uh, give you this velocity initial and ask you for this height. Well, I'm going to do this one. This is the most common. It's an example in the book. Uh, it tells us a 5-gram bullet is shot at a 1-kilogram block. The block then raises up 5 centimeters into the air over here. And there's different ways we can look at this. But let's go over to here. This is a classic hit-and-stick example. So let's write our equation out for a hit-and-stick. A hit-and-stick looks like M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial equals M1 plus M2 V final. So there's our equation for hit and stick. Now, we've got a couple of things. One thing is making this problem easier. This block is not moving initially. The block is just sitting here, which means that V2 initial is zero. Therefore, we can, that's zero, so we can just mark all that out of the problem. So what is it that ties this problem together? It's a two-part problem. What ties it together is this velocity final. And you've done this so many times, especially with me. This velocity final becomes your velocity initial for the part where it's swinging up into the air. So this is our tie between. This velocity final is my velocity initial for the part where it goes up in the air. Well, let's go over to the part where it swings up into the air. We've got two different ways of looking at this. We could make it a very complicated work net problem, or we could make it as simple, literally we could make it as simple as this. What kind of energy does this have at the bottom when it's shot? Well, it's got kinetic energy. And then what kind of energy does it have now that it's up in the air? Well, now that it's been knocked into the air, it's got potential. This is how easy this problem can be. The mass cancels out. And now we take a look. 1 half V squared equals 9.8 times, it said it was hit 5 centimeters into the air. 05, look at what we can find. This velocity, this is my velocity initial. I can find the velocity that this had to be going to swing up into the air just by setting kinetic and potential energy equal to each other. Energy is not created or destroyed. So 9.8, got a little random divide sign, 9.8 times 0 .05. And then let's see what we got here. Uh, divide both sides by half. Oh, square root. And we've got velocity initial equals to 0.99, basically one meter per second. That means the final velocity from this part has to be 0.99. So we're going to take this and plug it in right here. This bullet had a mass of 0 0.005 kilograms equals 1.005 
that would be my M1 plus M2 times 0.99. And I'm going to put this in the calculator, although it's almost unnecessary. 1.005 times 0.99 divided by 0.005. You're a good man, Taylor. Yeah, in your own video now. But anyway. All right, so we've got a velocity of 190, mm, actually it's, there, you can see for yourself, 198.99, I'm just going to go 199, that's how easy a ballistic pendulum question is, it's funny for all the to do and it sounds like it'd be hard, the other way of working it would have been to have done a work net over here and have said, okay, work net equals one half mv square minus one half mvo square and then you could done work done by gravity mgy initial and all that but you would still came right back out to the whole one half mv square mgy so this was literally the easiest and quickest way of doing it by the way this was also nothing but the third equation i used up here you could have got this answer too just by using the third equation and found VO and that velocity initial for this second part was your velocity final for that. So anyway, you got several different ways you could do it, but that is the ballistic pendulum. And wow, this is a very short video, so it's not too hard of a question. Anyway, uh, take it easy, peace, and ooh, look, chocolate milk. It's